Well here's the first look inside one of the unit construction Indian Royal Enfield engines here at Performance Classics and uh, we've got the engine totally stripped now with the crankshaft out which incidentally turns out to be the culprit I think for um, other problems like piston slap and a little bit of play developing in the big end and it turned out that the crankshaft the, the bolt that secures the engine sprocket and the starter sprag clutch and everything onto the end of the crank and locates the crank in the crank cases firmly the bolt was actually not only undone but out and in the bottom of the primary chain case so the crank could move from side to side by nearly three millimeters so that's some end float and I think it was putting side thrust loads on the conrod and the big end and the piston and it's just caused advanced wear on them as well and um, I was also asked to look at the gearbox because I don't know if anyone watching this has seen my original video test ride. Um, it did actually miss a gear change or two and the owner has been complaining for some time that the gear change and the gear selection has not been very good on it. Um, and I'll try and show this as best I can. I really need three or four hands. Um, but here's the gearbox cam plate. And this is supposed to sort of positively sort of click into a position every time you change gear but there's that much play in it you look at the free play and look at those gears moving because right at the back let me get my torch to show there's a spring at the back with a notch on it that engages in all these little notches in the cam plate. Uh, let's see if I can just bring it round. I need to show there's one of them there. Basically that spring engages in those notches and holds the thing firmly in position or at least that's what's supposed to happen but in this case it's not doing that. It's just flopping around allowing the cam plate to sort of literally be controlled just by the mechanism coming through from the gear lever which isn't designed to hold it in any particular gear so I need to get in there and get at that spring and probably change it for another one and stop this happening And then we'll probably find that the gearbox works as it should, rather than having a vague feel on the foot lever and missing and going past gears and generally not working very well. So there's a little bit of work to do on this one. We've got the crank over here. The play in the big end is only just perceptible. You won't see anything, but you might hear it. In fact, it's debatable whether you could use it again and get quite a few thousand miles out of that, probably. There's probably just a couple of thou play there, but while the engine's apart, it's probably a good idea to get it sorted. So I think that's what we'll be doing.